April 14, 1912, 11.40 p.m. She strikes the iceberg. By the 15 a.m., it's the beginning of the end. The bow pulls down, her stern rises, funnels collapse. The ship fractures. During the breakup, the stern and bow are held together by the deck and the galley deck dot as it broke bottom. But it was only for a fracture of a second. Then, the bow detaches. The tower debris also fall. It sails as it falls, taking perhaps five minutes to reach the bottom. The cargo hatch lies off. The structure creases, and the back and collapses. The stern seemed to float, but it's just a cruel illusion. Now she starts down. She pivots as she does so. She implodes, debris scatter on the seafloor. She inverts, and begins to go into a spiral. The aft tower, that has been slightly dislodged from the stern during the breakup, finally, separates from the stern during the spiral, including other decks. Finally, the stern hits, Titanic has hit the seafloor, two and a half miles down.